I, once again, have no time today. I spent a good chunk of the day doing prep for my appearance on Adam and Sitch tomorrow. Check that out, by the way. And so very little time in terms of writing or anything like that. Which means we're reacting to more woke nonsense. Because that's the easiest type of video I can create right now. That's just, that's just how it is, guys. And hey, it makes for good repackaging into shorts later, so that's also pretty good. Let's get our coffees, let's wrap ourselves in our blankets, and have a good laugh at what I've dredged up from the annals of the internet today. A friendly reminder to all the cis out there, just because it's called preferred name and preferred pronoun, that does not make it optional. And if you have trouble accepting <laughs> that, then maybe instead you can accept my size 13 steel toe on your trachea. We could start there, if you prefer. <laughs> All right, dude, let's, let's give it a go. This reminds me of that one video last time where the person said that my pronouns are not optional. You have to use them. And it's like, all right, at, le at least you're open on the table about it. These people can't fight to save their fucking lives. But like, imagine the fucking hubris you have to have to be like this. This is how you will address me when I'm not in the room. It's like, Jesus Christ, dictators do that shit. Listen, listen, you're not getting a robot vagina installed or anything, you know? It's not like there's going to be, you know, pistons or hydraulic pressure that's just going to, you know, suck some guy's foreskin off. That is not how trans vaginas work, all right? Oh god, this one's from It's a Gundam. All right, let's check it out. This guy has been sending me goodnight, Queen, every single night since May. Anything a guy does for you, he's doing for other girls. And thank you to this man for proving me right. Look at this. Look at this. Started in May. Started in May. So I have bad news for you ladies. The account that's sending you goodnight messages is not a real account. In early May, I built an Instagram <laughs> bot that would send these the messages Homelander to a music. group of popular creators to measure the impact of artificially boosting their egos. My plan was to start in May and send goodnight to single large popular creators and then stop the messaging around December 23rd which is right in the midst of the holiday season and the most loneliest time for a single person. <laughs> and I was going to demonstrate oh, how much random people Jesus. have influence over a popular creator whose entire self-worth is based upon the validation and appraisal of others. If I don't get a good night queen, it like hurts my feelings, and I love this. And my hypothesis was correct. These women said oh, they shit. missed the good night messages. They were attached to it. Wow. Gundam called this video, Some Men Just Want to Watch E-Girls Burn. And yeah, I fucking think so. Hello? I got some fucking Dove men's soap for you, too. <laughs> okay. Get some of that men's soap on your body. Because <laughs> you smell like shit, too. And you're a man. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's no way that this isn't fake. Like, this isn't a trans girl who's actually being abused by her father or something. This has to be set up. This like. This looks like a joke. This looks like it's made to go viral. It's pretty fucking funny. I hope people aren't actually taking this seriously. Ah, uh, this looks like one of those, you know, fresh and fit styled red pill podcasts. Wait a minute. Look at the reflection on that window in the background. Is that, is that a microwave? I asked the ladies to rate themselves on a scale of 1 to 10. I'd say I'm a 10. 10, uh, 10. Are you serious? 10. <laughs> Send the asteroid. Y'all are, come on. 10s. Absolutely. What would you rate yourself, Brian? Six, 6. 6.5 on a good day. Hubris, like delusional to rate yourself as a 10. Wow. So y'all are perfect. Fuck? Yep, perfect. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bro, come on. If you guys are 10s, then there's no girl that's better looking than you. I love all women. Every girl is a 10. <laughs> I don't Every woman, every a woman's a 10? This is fucking copium, dude. No. Absolutely not. Hold up, whoa. <laughs> every woman's a 10, but not every guy's a 10. Just because I love women. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna rate you guys, but none of you are a 10. You just yep, rated us. That's what, right? No, I'm, I'm not gonna give you, but none of you are a 10s. That's, that's fine. fine. Yeah, we that's didn't your ask. Opinion. Oh, we're all 10s. We don't care if guys don't think that we're 10s, though. Also, we're all perpetually single. It's like, holy shit. All girls can be 10s, but all guys can't be 10s. Oh my god, guys, guys. Man, when I talk about, when I talk about being in a a stable, steady relationship with Naomi. I feel like I'm on the last plane out of Afghanistan as it falls to the Taliban, you know what I mean? Like, holy shit. Imagine, like, being a young teenager or a young, like, early 20s guy and dating the next crop of women coming out right now. Holy fuck. These women aren't girl from material. Guys, I just got back from a hinge date. Why am I doing this? What's a hinge to date? To myself. 
So we scheduled to go to dinner. We are sitting at the restaurant. Seems very nice. Not a catfish. Things are going well. You mean, you mean catfish? And the waitress comes over. She wants to take her order. And I said, okay, I'm going to take the Bernzino. And he said, I'm going to take the burger. And the waitress asked him, okay, how do you like your burger? He said, how he likes his burger. And do you want some cheese on your burger? And he asked, is this going to be extra? And she says, yes, it's $3 extra. And he said, okay, then never mind. Over there and I'm like, what the actual okay. fuck? I'm like, okay, I'm hungry. I'm going to eat my Bernzino and see what happens. And he's like, oh my God, you have to pay extra for everything these days. And I'm like, yeah, it's New York City. So I got my Bernzino. He got his burger. We were eating. My facial expression, guys. And once I was satisfied, I got up. And I was like, I'm going to the restroom for a second. And I took my purse. And I went to the waitress. And I was like, hey, I just want to pay the bill. And... I just paid the bill and walked out of the restaurant and I texted him. So I texted him, the check is taken care of, you should have gotten the cheese. And I blocked him. What? What? Really? So, <laughs> I guess she decided that he was beneath her because he didn't want to pay $3 for cheese and a burger? Well, my man dodged a bullet and got a free meal, Jesus Christ. What the fuck is up with the dating market right now, guys? What is she doing? Who's speaking right now? It's just Trump Tower? Oh. <laughs> she she sure fucking showed him. Oh my god. You rapist! What? He's a rapist? What the fuck? You can't have a gun in an airport, lady. What? What did we just watch? Oh, she's getting arrested. I, is she saying I hate white cocks? What the fuck? Like, I swear, we're just watching people go schizophrenic in real fucking time. No offense to all my schizo friends out there. You guys are great. Just, uh, don't do this, okay? Oh! Oh, she was still in the TV! Oh, my... <laughs> someone lost you their went... cart and someone's stealing a TV out of it. You were moving too slow! Jumping at my... <laughs> Jesus. Ooh. Oh, no. Fucking Walmart's in Chicago, guys. <laughs> oh, she just fell out the car. Oh, Lord. <laughs> what the fuck? Get in the store. Get in the store. Did she leave she her? Didn't her left us shoe. <laughs> she left her fucking shoe. <laughs> she left her shoe. Wait. <laughs> Oh my fucking god. Like, this can't keep going on, right? Like, this can't keep happening. It's not just that they're stealing from stores now. They're not- people are now stealing from each other. Some places in America are getting to be so low trust, you can't even have any kind of cohesive social fabric. Jesus Christ, guys, if you're an American living in the city, get the fuck out of there, man. I don't know what else to tell you. Shit. Oh, and speaking of cities, check this one out. God damn, I gotta mute it. I'm not getting fucking copyright struck for that. Look at this, though. Just people standing around fucking high. Jesus. It looks like we're, we're in an episode of The Walking Dead or something. There's, like, shuffling and listless. What the fuck? Jesus. The drug crisis has gotten so bad, especially in these, you know, very permissive lefty cities. I know they're doing all oh, the harm reduction thing, my harm reduction. Yeah, okay, I understand. There's at least a little bit of benefit to that. But you can't be this fucking permissive. You can't just be completely chill with people getting high in the street and sitting around and like, like just ruining everything. And that's that's what that is what they're doing. They're 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 ruining the social fabric. They're ruining the city. They're leaving needles everywhere. Sometimes they're becoming violent. Sometimes they're becoming uh, a nuisance. It's not good for them, it's not good for their families, it's not good for those who depend on them, it's not good for society. This is not, you know, somebody wants to smoke a little bit of weed after a hard day's work or something. This is not what this is. So hopefully um, y'all like it, because it's... What the fuck, dude? 
Okay, the people who send me these fucking videos need to stop with this shit. I don't even know if I can show this on fucking YouTube. This Buffalo Bill ass motherfucker. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm gonna watch it without the image, just, just in case something crazy happens. That's all I could really find. But... Never mind, nothing's good in this. I think, uh... I think you'll like it. Hi, my name is Erin. I use she, her pronouns, and I am a... <laughs> Pets are awesome. That cat knows what the fuck is up. Oh boy, here's some more druggy shit. Let's go. Jesus. You suck! Who the fuck do you want to fight? What? 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 Who the fuck is she talking to? Okay, you guys gotta get her out of the fucking store. I swear to God, at some point, California is just gonna sink right into the fucking ocean. And I can't believe it has not happened yet. This is the last video I have. People keep sending me these so I can react to them, and I hope this is enough to make at least a 10 minute video for today. Let's hope, because I haven't been recording that long. So let's, uh, let's check it out. One of my coworkers told me that they were talking to some students in the hallway and they asked, the students asked the other teacher if I'm a boy or a girl. And the teacher was like, does it matter? You know, she's cool. And she's cool, yeah. They were like, no, I just, I just can't figure it out. It's just so hard. I can't figure it out. It's just like, wow. That's the goal. That's the goal. That's the goal. The goal is to confuse students about gender. We are at the point where, where things are becoming way more mask off than they've ever been. This is not about, you know, accepting trans people. Oh, you have a, you, you have a biological male who wants to transition into a woman and decides to be very feminine and passes and takes up the social role and, you know, fulfills all of society's expectations. You get like a Blair White type or a Taftage or a Lilith Lovett. They look very feminine. It's like, okay, you know what? We can meet you halfway. That's the polite thing to do in a liberal society. That's not what this is. Trans acceptance was never the progressive's goal. It was always about confusing people. It was always about indoctrinating people. And it was always about abolishing gender as one vector of many separate vectors of revolution against liberal capitalist democracy. That's the Gramscian view of things. I know I've been talking about my Antonio Gramsci video for like a week now. It's coming. It's coming down the pipe. Don't worry. You'll see it soon. But for at least some of these activists and at the expense of a lot of trans people, this is not about trans acceptance. It is about indoctrination, confusion and subversion. All right, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're watching this on release, me and my friends are gonna be playing some of the new Bayonetta game, Bayonetta Origins. We'll be starting the stream pretty much right when this video comes out. So if you wanna keep supporting the channel, come by and say hi. I'll see you there, guys. I love you.